Alright, uh, this is going to be um, a walkthrough on my big boat raft. It's a work in progress, it's not the finished product, but we'll see. There is one mod that I use with it that is relevant, which is ignore collision, ignore build collision. So this mod allows me to do one thing that would not be otherwise possible. Uh, that's the only reason I'm showing it. Otherwise, everything is just normal. The other mods are just quality of life, things like built from storage or um, automatic craft recipes, things like that. So they don't interfere in what you build. Okay. So this is the place. Um, we're going to start here at the front of the ship. My original raft was actually these four blocks or those four blocks, something like that. It's just slightly off center here. So this here is just a place where I can climb inside and outside of the raft at the front because as you see, it's difficult to get other uh, here otherwise. Um, now, this is the bilge of the ship. Um, we have these two engines. They are intended to move the raft uh, the, well, the boat to one side or the other without having to turn it. And uh, this is the water collectors. I have two water collectors. The water collectors are going up. Uh, do I have the helmet light on? No. So the water collection go up through here and here. And I also have the ink makers here and here. Now the fuel comes down through here, go to these two engines and then go in that direction. Now you see this thing that is elevated here? Uh, this is important because the number of engines you use depends on the number of foundations. Um, I, have, I have exactly 170 foundations. And if you look at the raft cost, you see I use a lot more planks than plastic, like a lot more planks than plastic. And plastic is used on the foundations, it's not used elsewhere. So the, the amount of ship I have is much bigger than the amount of foundations I have. Um, that allows me to work with only two engines uh, despite the, the raft cost. So I have 170 foundations um you need uh one engine for every 100 foundations now to build this the trick is using this roof piece so the roof piece can support a floor so i have a roof piece going up and then floor and then another floor and a roof piece going down and then in the middle i use a different trick uh, which is kind of cheaty. Um, this, there is no cheating here. Uh, this here has a little bit of cheating. And you can see there is no poles in the middle. That's because of the cheat. I'll talk about that cheat later. So at the stern of the ship, I have the main engines, the ones that go forward or backwards. I have two anchors. There's no need for me to have two anchors. I just like having it symmetrical. Um, the idea is that this would be a cargo ship. So I have some doors here, but this here would be the cargo deck. And I have this thing here, uh, like simulating an open um, entrance door. And the idea would be to have rails coming at the top to bring cargo containers inside. Uh, and here you can see all the poles I, I have here. You need the poles to build this stuff, but then you can remove them later if you use the trick. So this would be the cargo deck. It is uh, two floors high, and I have two floors here. Um, this is my main floor. 
for now because I haven't moved stuff yet. Um, so the water comes up here and here and then it goes down again. So the water goes up and then it comes down again here and it goes underneath here through the, the build of the ship and comes up here and here for the farm. Uh, this thing here is what that no collision mod does. It allows the pipes to go through floors and through walls. I don't think I have any wall example right now. No, I don't, just floors. So I don't need to have a hole here. I can have just the, uh, the pipe going through the floor. That's the only thing I'm using that mod for. Um, anyway, so this is the, this had everything. Uh, until recently, where I started moving stuff here. Uh, this will be the crafting area in the future. And this here in the future will be the... Um, this will be the galley. The idea is having a galley here and then passenger um, cabins going all the way down there. And then on top there of that, an open deck. Um, I use these, um, what are they called again? This are navigation streamers. So I use the streamers to see what's the direction of the wind. Um, like I place the pole here and a pole here so I can align both of them. Uh, like I can align myself with both of them and then look at the streamer to see what it's doing. And I have another one here for the um, for the the wheel, the navigation wheel, the steering wheel. Right. Now, um, travel in this raft is done through um, through zip lines. Um, I have here on the side. I didn't show it. This is where you will go inside and outside of the raft on islands. Like you approach laterally until this reaches land. So you can go inside and outside an island um, without ever dipping your feet. Um, and you can see here the zip line. At the moment, this is off and that one isn't working very well because I have been expanding the raft and that cut the lines for the zip line so once the zip uh, once the once the raft goes farther up I, I can restore the zip lines so the idea is to get a zip line to go to the stern of the ship uh, so i can like drop down the anchor uh, when i close enough to the island or or work with the with the engines and then come back here and this one will take you down to the front so I'll have to raise this um, I'll have to raise the the platforms so that they won't go through the cargo floor so when I have the 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 actual floor on top of this, I would raise that thing there. Uh, well, I'll have to raise it here as well. So you have to go up to go up and then go to the other to the other side. Now let's talk about the trick. Um, the trick is using the triangular floor. As you can see here, that is all triangles. Um, a triangle here. Let's try and go here. So I can see here it's all triangles, right? So the thing is, if you have if you have triangle floors, then after you place the triangle floors, you can uh, delete. Well, delete. You can remove the pole, and it stays up, right? Now. Um, 
I'm not doing this uh, uh, willy-nilly. I mean, I think it's kind of a bug or an exploit. So, well, it is an exploit. Um, so I'm not using this for everything, uh, but I will reduce the number of polls because this is way too much. So I'll probably keep like polls on the middle and remove all others. Or maybe keep these poles here, uh, just one off the middle and remove all others. And you can see here on the build, I did something like that. So I have these poles here. I think they look sensible, right? It, it makes sense to have these poles there. It feels like right. And then not in the middle because, well, first it looks uh, cluttered and second, it doesn't feel like they did it, so I decided to remove them. Uh, but most of the poles are there. And this is also for, this is actually to know if you are going to the island or not, uh, if you're gonna hit the island or not. So you can see if you're, you can see if this is going to go over the island, basically. And that's pretty much it. So, hope you enjoy it.